MFA updates. Good morning, สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to MFA Update. This is a weekly program that focuses on Thailand's foreign affairs and activities. And I am Nishika Pumi, your host. This week, we are going to talk about the event called Impact Now, Sustainable Enterprise Showcase, and Multi-Chamber Networking. We have Kun Warapong Watanasin, First Secretary of the News Division, Department of Information, to tell us more about this event. The Foreign Affairs That Matter. Special guests from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is the MFA updates. Welcome, Kun Warapong, to today's program. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Kun Ben. Um, I would like you to start with the overview of the event, the Impact Now Sustainable Enterprise Showcase and Multi-Chamber Networking. So, could you tell us what the event was about? Definitely. So, the Impact Now was an event that took place on the 14th of September, so last month. Mm-hmm. It's an exciting new initiative uh, that's jointly hosted by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Through partnership with the Thailand Now platform mm-hmm. and the National Innovation Agency or NIA public organization and British Council Thailand, with generous support from uh, 14 foreign chamber and trade associations um, that were led by the Swiss Thai and the Thai Canadian chambers and uh, numerous uh, corporate sponsors. Mm-hmm. So the, the purpose of the event was, um, as, as its name suggests, to showcase some outstanding sustainable enterprises in Thailand, recognizing their contributions and their achievements, mm-hmm. and to enable the networking with participating foreign chambers, businesses, mm-hmm. and uh, fellow sustainable enterprises, in order to create opportunities for future collaboration and cooperation. And for them to grow further, so there were over 180 people who took part, including the diplomatic corps mm-hmm. and the international organisations' representatives, mm-hmm. government officials, businesses, uh, including <coughs> um, representatives of the Thai Chamber of Commerce and also the Thai Startup Trade Association. Uh, could you talk about the sustainable enterprises that took part and what businesses do they do? Certainly. So, um, these sustainable enterprises are mainly what we would call startups. Mm-hmm. Um, startups with social impact and innovative angles on doing their business. Uh, what you might call uh, sustainable practices in business. Mm-hmm. So all the ones that were invited to the event in Pat now had won awards or had taken part in various programs that were run by the NIA, the National Innovation Agency, uh, their programs to support social enterprises and innovation in Thailand. And uh, the four enterprises who pitched for the Impact Now uh, Best in Show Award uh, came from very different uh, business sectors. Mm-hmm. So the four of them are, um, first were uh, Happy Grocers. Um, our listeners may have heard of some of these, but uh, Happy Grocers, the first one, uh, was a sustainable agriculture online marketplace. Um, so it's sort of a uh, grocery shopping online platform uh, with a focus on food waste reduction and helping farmers in sustainable agriculture. The, the second one is called uh, Vulcan Coalition mm-hmm. and it's, it's a startup that uses AI, uh, artificial intelligence uh, technology, to assist uh, persons with disabilities, particularly in employment matters, um, helping uh, persons with disabilities uh, gain employment and linking them up with uh, possible employers. The third one, uh, called uh, Find Choke, is a developer, a provider, and marketer for sustainable tourism businesses, and they include a Go Green 
booking platforms, so booking accommodation and tourist uh, services online uh, and linking them up with uh, green businesses. And the, the fourth business uh, that pitch uh, is, co- is called More Loop uh, Surplus, um, so the fabrics online marketplace um, there, to, to reduce um, fabric waste and upcycling uh, surplus fabrics um, from the textile industry. So they, they aim to create a, a circular uh, economy. So um, these were the four, uh, right? Um, and we also uh, showcased a, a number of notable um, sponsors as well who were themselves uh, sustainable enterprises and who are engaged in sort of even wider ranging businesses. Mm-hmm. So we had um, other enterprises who made uh, chocolates to um, making environmentally friendly products and gifts. Mm-hmm. So congrats, you, you, you can see that there, there is a vibrant, sustainable enterprise uh, what we call ecosystem here in Thailand. These are very interesting businesses and it seem to be like the business for the future, I can say. And, Definitely. And can you talk about the Best In Show Award? Like, what was it and who won it? So, as, as this um, Impact Now uh, Sustainable Enterprise Showcase and uh, multi-chamber networking event um, is, is the first, um, of its um, kind. Uh, so the, also the Impact Now Best in Show Award is the, is the first time that, that, that we've had it as well. So at, at the event uh, on the 14th of September, the, the four enterprises that I had just described to you before, um, they pitched for this award and presented on their story. So basically their origins and their inspirations. Mm-hmm their business models and ideas, uh, as well as the partnerships that they have and the successes that they've had so far. And some of them showcase some of their um, previous projects and their uh, current or past uh, customers. And uh, then afterwards, after these uh, four presented, uh, the participants of uh, the event um, were invited to to vote, so there was an, an online voting uh, program, um, and so to vote for one of these four, uh, based on who they like uh, from from their presentations. So it was a very active uh, voting uh, uh, scene, which was very exciting. And after the, the voting was completed and, and the counting was was done, uh, fine folks, um, the, the sustainable tourism business um, won the inaugural. Impact Now Best in Show Award, uh, but of course, um, can I mention that uh, nevertheless, um, all all of the four uh, are to be commended for their very interesting and very uh, inspirational pitches, mm-hmm. and um, the, the the crowd, the, the the participants were all very impressed. Mm-hmm. And finally, uh, from the perspective of the government and you as a representative of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, could you tell us what is the significance of this event? Sure. So, uh, first first of all, at the event, our Deputy Permanent Secretary for Foreign Affairs, Dr. Rila Wan Nangkhat Nakun, said in her opening remarks um, to the event that um, the work of these sustainable enterprises are very important because they are putting some of the key policy concepts um, in re- into reality. So, um, of course, the, the most important to uh, I'd like to mention are on the, our work towards the achievement of various uh, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, mm-hmm and the bio-circular green or BCG economy module that uh, will have been talked about a lot on this program. Um, that Thailand is, is advancing, especially uh, this year in our APEC uh, 2022 right. first year. So the, the, these are, the, that's the first um, very uh, important part of it. And of course, um, we're also very glad that um, these um, businesses 
are making impact uh, as the name of the event uh, suggests um, impacts of their businesses are uh, benefiting our community here in Thailand uh, and in, uh, not only the community but the environment as well and these um, businesses are making use of um, technology uh, as well as uh, making innovations so uh, as as you mentioned just before invest um, I think uh, these will be very important forces in our economy and society uh, well into the, the future so um, the the third part uh, I'd like to to talk about is that um, uh, as one of the key purposes of the event and um, of course in the in the latter part of the event's name uh, there was uh, extensive networking um, happened uh, that happened among our participants which is really really good to see and uh, already as sort of feedback from from this event we we have been hearing that um, a lot of useful contacts uh, are being made mm. so that these <coughs> excuse me uh, sustainable enterprises who took part in in this program can go further can reach uh, further and um, they can tap into the kinds of expertise that um, that you know can can help them develop so so we we hope that um, they continue to to benefit from from what happened at, at this event and also uh, hopefully that um, we can involve more sustainable enterprises in in these activities or or like uh, events um, and so finally um, <coughs> excuse me uh, can I just say that um, we at the MFA at the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs uh, we're keen to to support these um, these enterprises and, and and what I mentioned, uh, what we call the uh, sustainable enterprises ecosystem of, of Thailand. So, um, in, in particular, as 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 is our mandate uh, to to conduct um, international affairs, um, we we hope that um, in in particular to to make uh, these um, very exciting and very uh, promising sustainable enterprises become better known and connected uh, sort of uh, internationally um, in, in the wider sense. And so with this um, Impact Now event on September 14, we, we hope that it was a start and, uh, and a very solid uh, start to our efforts in, in this regard. This is a very interesting and I agree that this is a very good and solid start and we're looking forward to have more of this kind of event in the future. Certainly, certainly hope so to congrats. Yeah, um, thank you so much, Kun Borapong, for sharing with us this interesting and inspirational event for today. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Pleasure to join you. Congrats. That was Kun Warapong Watanasin, First Secretary of the News Division, Department of Information, on the Impact Now Sustainable Enterprise Showcase and Multi-Chamber Networking. And that concludes our program for this week. If you want to listen to the previous episodes of the MFA Update, you can visit the YouTube channel MFA Thailand, or you can visit our Facebook page FM88 Radio Thailand English. Thanks so much for listening, and we will see you next time. I am Nishaka Pumi. สวัสดีค่ะ MFA Updates